Oh, hi there. <laughs> it's hi. so good to see you. You're just in time. Why don't you sign in first? Sir, I will. If you have already, just pick your name from the list. Well, yes. Anyway, hey everyone, this is Seal and Her Nibble, and welcome to an episode 9 of Seal and Her Nibble's um, Pre Resurrection Sunday Let's Play 2015. And today we are playing now, Bear and Big Blue House Bear Central Adventure. In. Okay, Bear, I know. Now let's get going. Now, click on the path and come. I know, I know. I'm just gonna skip the intro. Go ahead, explore the house and visit all your friends. Just point me in the direction you want me to go. Okay then. Now, notice that um, the colors are um, are shown right here because um, the graphics appear to be kind of glitchy since I'm playing this on a Windows 2000 virtual machine and virtual PC 2007. But I think that shouldn't be much of a problem since um, the last time I did an actual full let's play at this game and the graphics seem to be working fine but this problem shouldn't be much of a big deal here so let's replay one of the missions this is a book a pip and pop needed click the dip bowl just to play um, to um, pip and pop's famous clam dip yeah. pip and pop love clam dip because they like the way it tastes on their tongues that's what you use to taste with your tongue but you probably already knew that some like that. I wonder what tasty treats Pip and Pop will put in the bowl to make their famous clam dip. Hmm. I can't wait to taste Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. So, what are you going to put in it? Oh, things everybody likes to make the best clam dip ever! Yes, sir. Something sweet. Something salty. And of course, no clam dip would be complete without something, something sour. Wow. You sure thought of a lot of different tastes. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. But Bear, we have a problem. Yeah, we don't know what will make it sweet or salty or, or sour. sour. Looks like they're having trouble deciding. Well, green apples are sour, so is a lemon and a white grapefruit. Yeah. Boy, those really are sour, Bear. <gasps> hey, could you choose one for us? Yes, I'm gonna go for that green apple again. Whoa! Yeah. Get ready to pucker up, Pop! Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what tastes sweet? Hmm, let's take a look. Cupcakes, or cookies, or maybe even a chocolate cake. Whoa, those all sound good, Bear. <laughs> what, what do you think? Well, we should do, um... A cake. When I think of salty, I think of things like potato chips, or pretzels, or crackers. Hmm, let's go for potato chips. Whoa, yeah! Wow. They're as salty as, uh, um, uh, uh, a clam at the bottom of the sea! <laughs> you did a good job picking things for Pip and Pop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we know what to put in our clam Definitely. Yeah. <gasps> but, but Bear! We have we another problem! Yeah, we don't know where to find them! Yes! Hey, why don't you help Pip and Pop find what they need? That's a good idea. Not to mention, I remember experiencing those, um, um, color glitches when I was a kid, when I was, um, playing this game. Let's take a look at my basket. Ooh, berries. Let's collect a couple. Mm -hmm. You just picked a couple up some bunches, big actually. House berries. We call them that because they're blue and are as big as a house. Hmm. Uh, okay. Maybe not that big, but they sure taste like it. Mm -hmm. Wow. You just found some very rare green pond berries. They're rare because Pip and Pop usually eat them before anyone else can find them. <laughs> now let's go to the backyard and see what we can do. Ooh, there's a green apples up there. That's our sour fruit. But we need a way to knock it down so we can get it. Yeah. 
by using this beach ball, obviously. Whoops, nearly. That's a good idea, but it didn't fall. Why don't you try again? Yeah. Whoops. Failed again. Oh, that was close, but it still didn't come down. One more time might do it. Let's give that another shot. Yeah! It fell off the tree, finally. You did it! Yeah, now we have something sour! For Pip and Pop's famous candy! Oh, yes! Now let's go back to the kitchen, because there's two activities to do here, and here. Hey, looks like we can make something sweet. There's some batter, and some pans. Yes. This cookie sheet works for making cookies. I know that. A muffin tin is just right for making cupcakes. Yes, I know that too. Yep. That's the pan Pip and Pop need. Yeah, we just need one scoop for this kind of, um, sweet item. Let's bake it! Yep. The bell went off. Ready! Great baking! Thanks. That cake looks nice, but appears to be missing a slice. Oh, thank you so very much! You're now welcome, we guys. Sweet. For Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. So let's do this, um, um, do this activity here. Hmm, this is strange. It looks like a trail of potato chip crumbs leading right to Tutter's mouse hole. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Tutter, by any chance, have you seen a salty snack of mine around here? Yeah, I see that. Oh, um, sure, yeah, sure. You know, it's, it's a funny thing, but a, a pile of potato chips makes a lovely statue. Just lovely. Something like that. Let's pick this up now. All right, you found something salty. Thank you. This dip is gonna be the best ever! Well, you found something salty, something sweet, and something sour for Pip and Pop. Now it's time to make Pip and Pop's famous clam dip. Come on! Okay, let's do this. Pip and Pop will give you directions on how to make their special dip. First, something sour. That adds power! Oh, what do you think, Pip? Rhymes pretty good. Well, you know you did what you could. <laughs> yeah, let's put these in place. Splash! Put in a tomato. It's better than a potato. Yeah, something like that. Chili peppers will give it some spice. Yes, sir, Pop, that'll be so nice. Yes. Oh, and I almost forgot that a user gave me a request to um, play this game something as part sweet. of this series. Be really neat. So, I just decided to do this I think game Pip and Pop asked as well. for something else. Oh, you're right. Something sweet needs to be added, like that case slice. On top. It'll give it some pop and pip. Yes. Put the salty thing in the bowl. Remember? You found it in Tutter's hole? Yep, that's the potato chips. Cream cheese will make it thick. Oh, I cannot wait to take a lick. Yeah. Okay. Looks like the dip is done. Hold on, Again. hold on. There's one more ingredient to go. The most important ingredient, the clams. Right. Whoops, you're right. Add each clam. And our dip will be a grand slam. Yeah, let's put this in place. Now mash it all up with the big fork. Okay then. That's good. Pip and Pop's famous clam dip is done. Let's have them taste it and tell us what they think. Hmm. I like the salty taste, but yeah, I don't like the sweet taste. Interesting. Because you see, I like the sweet taste, but ugh, I do not like the salty taste. Mm. Oh. We, we don't, don't like, like the, the sour, sour taste. taste. Oh. Ew. That's too bad. What do you think will make it better? Uh. Hmm. 
Well, the next time that we make Pip and Pops famous, famous clam dip, we will only put in what we both like. Yeah, when it's done, I'll add something salty to my bowl. And I will add something sweet to mine. Yum. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> wow, Pip and Pop found they have different tastes. You've got taste too. Mm -hmm. hmm. Just try new foods and discover a great taste you've never tasted before. Hey. Take a look in here. It's a book. This is a book about the fun you had with Pip and Pop. We'll call it Dip Time. Pip and Pop needed ingredients for their clam dip. You baked up a sweet treat to add to the dip. The sour fruit was high in a tree, but you got it down. A crumb trail led to Tutter's mouse hole and a salty snack. Pip and Pop learned not everyone likes to eat the same things. That's right. That was uh -huh. great. Oh, you're back. Look what I found. Pie dough for triple berry pie. Mm-hmm. Hey. Do you think you could hold on to it? For me? Yes. Let's just click anywhere on the screen to move on. Great! Now let's find the rest of the stuff we need for the pie. Alright, let's go. Well, I think you that's found it everything for, for the pie. Episode. Um, except the berries. We'll need six bunches of berries. Have you seen any berries around? So. What do you want to do? I just want to exit because um, we're done with this episode. Do you want to leave this game? Yes, I do. You can leave for now, or visit Luna, or come back into the big blue house for more fun. So, what do you want to do? I just want to exit the game. So, that'll be it for this episode. I, I hope you enjoyed it. So, goodbye everybody and that's about it. See you in the, in the next episode. Do you want to take a break? Thanks for coming to visit the Big Blue House. Come back again real soon.